Now time to enable the most important features student and courses. So this features so user or the students can able to get most value out of them. For that the very first feature we can say announcement. Okay, if the student is enrolled, so in this case we will try to enroll it. It is enrolled, so he can able to see the status. If he had a courses, so in this case you can able to see that he has a course of three lessons. So if he complete any one of it, the progress bar will show the start of the completion of the projects. Here you can able to see the actual date of enrolled. And when we click on start course, here it is our first course. Let's play. And once you watched, you can able to click on complete lesson. Here you can able to see that out of three, we had watched one video or lesson. It is showing 33%. Now we will add the announcement. Here there is no announcement. You can able to add the announcement from the back end. For that you have to click on announcements. Click on add new. Let's say for the tutor LMS we will add the announcement. So here we had added the announcement and click on publish. You can see our announcement has been added. Now if you go and refresh the page, you can see here the announcement. If the student has a questions about the course, he can able to click on this and add the query. So in this case, he had a query of why LMS is important. So we had added the information and now click on post question. Here the best part, the all the student that enrolled with the course can able to add the answers or ask a question. But if you go to the back end and if you refresh the page, you can see here it is a one question is in pending. So we can able to open this and click on answer. Here we can able to give the answer. In this case, I will just add a dummy answer here and click on place answer. Here the answer has added. If you go here and refresh it, you can able to see the answer. Now we will move further for enabling more features that the plugin tutor LMS called as add-on. So let's go into the back end and click on add-on functions. In that the very important features for the students are content drip. It will unlock the sessions based on schedule or any specific conditions. Then enrollment, gradebook, assignments, certificate. There are a lot of things will be there. Course preview, course attachment, emails, reports, Zoom integrations. This will be a great option that we had enabled all the features. Just you have to click on this and you can able to see that there are a lot of things has been added to our panel. In that we had already completed announcement. Second, if you click on gradebook, we can able to add from here. It will also allow us to import it, the sample. So here it is a sample as per the school, college or LMS system you can able to grade the students here it is the edit or grade options are there now the next feature is reports this is one of the most recommended and the best feature that we always looking for in that you can able to see all the stats here you can able to see the graphs most popular courses last enrolled courses recent reviews and the questions and there are a lot of things like newly registered student in the course tab you can able to see a lot of things 
and in the review tab if someone has reviewed your courses you can able to see here the cells will show you the stats of the board the last number of students and their enrollments if you go to the next one zoom we are going to cover this in the next part in that you have to just add the keys or api keys and then you can able to start it so we will going to cover this entirely as a separate video if you go to the enrollments and in the enrollment tab you can able to see the course with the student enrollments another thing is you can also add the students and enroll it manually but here one thing has to be make sure student has to be registered himself very first so if he has registered you can able to see the name here you just have to tick mark it and select the course and click on enroll student now we will move further for the mails and in the email section there are a lot of shortcuts will be there so we can able to use them for better mail composition now we are going to the assignment tab in the assignment tab if student has submitted any assignments it, it appears here but if you wanted to create the assignments for the user you have to go to the course tab in that open any course and scroll down to the bottom and here you might see the assignment tab where you can able to see you just have to click on this and look at this here it is the assignments you have to click on this assignment tab and here add the short title and description of the assignments give them an attachment and here we can able to put the duration so if it is zero then unlimited and if you wanted to keep for the hours days or week you can able to put the numbers accordingly and the points that we can allocate and here the minimum passing ratio allow to upload how many files and maximum file size so this is all about the assignment tab here i will add the dummy data the dummy data has been added and here we will set the duration for the one week passing mark will be a four and he can upload max to max two files and maximum file size will be three and click on update assignment now user can able to submit the assignment for that user need to go here now scroll down here we had added the assignment here it is our assignment click on this and you can able to see the assignments here student can able to submit the assignment Here for the dummy, we will add some assignment data and click on submit assignments. Now we will go back to here and click on refresh. You can able to see that assignment has been submitted. Now the teacher can able to evaluate the assignments and he can able to give the feedback based on the assignment and click on evaluate these assignments now we will go to the next feature for that we have to click on settings in the setting if you go to the email notification if you remember we had enabled the add-on emails here you will find the lot of notification mails you can able to enable this based on your lms system requirements so let's say for student if we enroll the course it will get the mail similarly for the teacher if his payment get rejected so he can able to get the mails so similarly we can able to configure the mail settings now go up and we will see the next tutor certificate here lot of certificates will be there so in this case you just need to select appropriate design for your certification i will go with this certificate scroll down and authorized name in this case we will add the name let's say ashok and the brand name or company name or you can say lms company name i will add here a domain racer and scroll down if you wanted to allow the instructor name on the certificate then you can able to click on this and here we can able to add the signature on the certificate just you have to click on this and upload the signature in the view certificate section if you click on this 
it will allow student to view the certificate with the help of URL in a public. And the next part is if you click on this and once the course has been completed automatically certificate will be dropped to his email ID. He need to log in into this LMS system to get the certificate and click on save changes. Almost we had completed lot of factors. Now we will move further for the next grade books. Here you can able to do a settings as per your project requirements and if you click on courses we can able to add here a Glutenberg editor which is the best editor to edit the content of the courses and if you read this all properly you can able to get the all the informations from here itself there is no need to explain all these factors separately but and here one of the thing is that Archu that we are going to cover in a separate video because we have to customize the entire website. So in the customization we need to do this operations. And if you wanted to enable or disable some features you can able to see here there are a lot of things will be there. You can able to disable them or enable them based on your video requirements. And here one of the thing we can able to see here as well you can able to disable one of the features because most of time we want only few features like we are using here embed only so if i click on this 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 and this options it will never appear in the course creation process it only gives you an option of embedding and similarly if you wanted to give the default video source it should be only this so that time we can able to choose this one and click on save changes based on your project requirements if you click on lessons here as well there are a lot of things will be there here you can able to see that if you wanted to change the permalink let's say an example here you can able to see that lesson will be written out so we can able to change the name from here if we change the name it will replace this name and other settings now we had almost completed this video now in the next video we are going to cover the next possible options that allows you to create a very awesome LMS system.